they're good looking if you want to train your arms, your biceps, your triceps, as well as your shoulders, this is the workout you want to stick around for. Now, you'll need some tools. So if you're a beginner, I want you to have a chair nearby. And then I also want everybody to have a pair of light dumbbells and then a couple of different sets of moderate dumbbells. So for reference, I have a pair of eights, tens, and twelves. Okay? Awesome. Let's go get warmed up. Hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com as well as over50fitness.co and welcome to my workout, which is also day four of the 12 days of Christmas, if you're following that. Now listen, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so we can keep working together. And if you're on and watching this ads free on the Over 50 Fitness app, make sure you head to our private community afterwards on Facebook and let me know what you thought of the workout. All right, let's get warmed up and then away we go. Deal? Awesome. Feet apart, abs engaged, big arm circles. So here's how today's workout is going to play out. We will start with a little Tabata to get the blood pumping, get the arms and shoulders ready, and then we'll move into a strength training workout. We have two rounds with our strength workout, 40 seconds on the clock, and as mentioned in the intro, we are hitting those biceps, triceps, and shoulders. You are going to love this. And three, two, one. Now open and close. Good. Abs engaged. Quite often we forget about that and we just kind of allow the low back to overarch and things just to go a little funky in the core section. So I don't want that to happen to you. So what do we mean when we say abs engage? Basically it means as if somebody was coming in to sucker punch you and you're bracing for that impact. Tightening up that deep core muscle we call the transverse, okay? Beautiful. All right, now we're going to walk out, do some walkouts. If walkouts don't work for you due to shoulders or wrists, I want you to give me a high plank, okay, and hold the high plank. Otherwise, join me here, bend the knees, walk out to high plank, and walk back. So you have that option to be on the plank from the forearms. That'll protect the shoulders and the wrists a bit more. And then you can also go down on the knees if you find being on the toes a little challenging. Now there's only one real alternative movement I'll be giving for today, otherwise everybody's going to be able to follow, follow along on every movement. And uh, it's just dependent on, you know, what weight you're lifting. So you want to find a weight that's going to challenge you today. One more. And back to center. All right, let's begin with that Tabata, okay? Beginners, this is where you'll use that chair I referenced at the beginning of the workout. We start out with a high plank, okay, and a shoulder tap. All right, beginners, you'll be on a chair. You'll see it up there in a few seconds. But on a chair just means that you're building the ground up, making it more manageable for you, and then you'll follow the move exactly the way as done with your hands on the ground. Second exercise, we're going to sink down into an iso hold quarter squat for jabs. Okay? Four rounds of those, 20 seconds on the clock. You ready? Awesome. Okay, hands on your chair or down on the ground with me. Wrists are under shoulders for everybody. Feet apart, abs engaged, and go. Now when we tap the shoulder, take it a little on the slower side. We want to make sure that those hips don't shift. And then as mentioned, we're putting the wrist right underneath that shoulder each time we drop the hand back to the ground. Neck is in line with the spine, so once you see me, I just want you to look a little bit ahead of you. Time. See? 20 seconds, no problem. All right, feet apart, sink down into that ISO squat. I know this is an upper body workout, but I just can't help myself. Here we go. Now, when we jab, we're not flinging the arm, we're placing it, all right? And we're bringing the elbow back in. Perfect. Keep everything else quiet. Hold that squat, because again, I just can't help myself and give you a squat and an upper body workout. Dime, all right? You got it. All right, back down on the ground or hands on your chair. Get that plank, feet apart, core tight, ready, set, tap. Opposite hand to shoulder, come on. This 
This is a good little warm-up drill as well. As mentioned, get the blood pumping, get the body warm, muscles ready, time, joints ready, mind ready <laughs> for the workout. All right, sink down to that quarter squat. Elbows are in, hands are up, protecting the shoulder, go. Good, breathe, nice. Time, whoo, that gets you, doesn't it? It sneaks up on you. All right, we're halfway, back to that high plank. And once again, feel free to build your ground up or maybe build it up with a bow suit. That works as well. If the chair is too easy or a stair, if you've got one close by, your coffee table, your fireplace, you know, you can start with the chair and work your way to fireplace and then work your way to ground. It's a great way to step up the intensity time of the workout and make it manageable because in the end you got to be able to do it here we go drop it down abs engage go breathe good Time, whoo, okay, one more of each and then we'll grab those dumbbells. Here we go, get yourself down. High plank, shoulders away from the earlobes. Ready, go. Looking slightly ahead of you, yes. Wrists, where are they going? Back under the shoulder, you got it. Time. Woo. Nicely done. Shake out those arms. All right. We're moving into our strength routine. Have your dumbbells close by because you may need to switch out as we go. I'm going to grab just a quick sip of water. We're starting with bicep curl pattern. And we've got four exercises all working the biceps. I'm going to start with 12s, <laughs> but my 10s and 8s are right there in case I need to drop down. So that might be you as well. All right. I'm pushing start on the timer. We got 10 seconds to get set up. We start with the traditional bicep curl. Palms facing me, shoulders back and down. Root yourself, knees are soft, abs engaged, and simply curl the arms up and down. Good. Or the hands, curl them up. So we're not swinging. We're not using our body. We're just using your biceps. Yeah, I can tell right away I'm going to have to drop down on weight. <laughs> now, in between each exercise, we get 15 seconds of rest. I know, Christmas came early, huh? <laughs> and as mentioned, we're hitting the biceps for four movement patterns all in a row. Time. Woo! All right, so this next one, I'm going to drop down. This next one wide now. So now our curls are a little wider. They're not in front of the body. Same movement, but just wider with the hands and the start. Curl up and slowly release. Good. So the arms are more out to your side. As mentioned, they're not in front of the body. Nice. And then you've got to really root yourself on this one because the arms are away from the body. Right, creating that instability a more, a bit more into the shoulders and into the hips. One more, come on. Time. Woo! All right, now one arm is going to hold mid wrap a bicep curl while the other arm does a hammer curl. Okay, so this is, this one you might have to think about. <laughs> one arm's moving, the other one isn't. So let's get set up. Mirror me. This arm's here. Good. Your left one's bicep or hammer curling. So what we're doing with your right arm here is an iso hold curl. 
So you should be starting to feel the bicep now. If you're not, can you step up the dumbbells? I need you to feel the muscles we're training today. This is a strength session. We need to fatigue the muscles. You need to be at the end of this set and go, whoa, PJ, I could not do another rep. That's where I want you, okay? Couple more here. Whew. Release. Woohoo. That was fun, huh? <laughs> All right, so we've got to do the other side. So the ISO hold is now with the other arm. Once again, our hammer curl, that just means your palm stays facing the inside of your body the entire time. Let's go. My elbow's under my shoulder on this other arm. My wrist is straight. That's actually really important. I should have cued that last arm. All right, we want to protect the wrist. But I think you would feel that if your wrist broke and the knuckles were pointing down to your ground, it would really be uncomfortable. So I want your muscles uncomfortable, not your joints, <laughs> okay? Now when we're done this, we need to move on. Thank goodness. We'll start picking on your triceps and the first two movements are on the ground. One more here, time. All right, now I'm gonna take my 10s, have them close by, but I'm starting with my 12s. So let's get on the ground. Feet close to the bum. Now your dumbbells are just on top of the chest and they're touching. Press straight up and lower. So no time to your dumbbells separate. So we have some pec involvement as well as anterior deltoid, front shoulder, as well as triceps. Now when the timer goes, we'll stay down here for a skull crusher, at which you may need to switch out to a lighter dumbbell. Or you can also hold on to one dumbbell on each hand, with each hand. Time. All right. I am definitely stepping it down. <laughs> Your skull crusher, arms are straight, wrist, elbow, shoulder in line, bend at the elbows, dumbbells come down beside each ear and straighten out. Go. If you decide you want to do one dumbbell, you'll hold on the, po the ends of each dumbbell and the post comes down to your forehead. So it becomes a real skull crusher. That's the actual name of this exercise. All right. So you choose what's going to work for you and your triceps and then pace yourself and breathe. Remember, this is a strength workout. I want these last couple of reps that we'll be doing hard. When that timer goes, I want you to think to yourself, there is no way PJ would have got another one or two reps out of me. All right, that's where I want you. And it's all about me, <laughs> time. All right, stand for me. Tricep kickback, you might be familiar with this. The biggest cue here is a hip hinge, feet hip width apart, elbows come up, and then we're just gonna glue the upper arm right here and then kick back. You feel that yet? Yeah. Now, when the timer goes, we will move on and start picking on the shoulders. And good times, the triceps are gonna be helping us too on some of the movements. Ten more seconds. One more. Time. All right. I'm going to try and keep my tens for the first movement. It's called a Y press. So the hands will be here, and you're pressing like a shoulder press, but the arms are going to look like the letter Y. Okay? Ready? Rack them up and press. Good. Now the knees are soft. Draw that belly button in. Again, remember, we're bracing the ab region like somebody's coming to sucker punch you. That's gonna protect our low backs. We're working shoulders and triceps on this move, but you are getting a ton of core as well. Going wide, straighten the arms, pull them back in. Nice. Last few reps, and then I recommend you drop down to a lighter set of dumbbells for the next move. 
time. Woo. All right, I'm going to grab my eight. This is called an L raise, and essentially you're bringing one arm for a front lateral raise while the other one comes to a side lateral and then switch over. All right, go. Now your hands are only coming to shoulder height. That's all we need to come as high to get into the shoulder muscles. We're keeping the rest of the body squared, so don't start twisting and lifting, okay? <laughs> Keep yourself squared, rooted, and it's just the arms moving. Whew, this is wicked. I'm actually pretty damn proud of this little workout so far. <laughs> Each workout's like a child of mine. <laughs> time. All right, shoulder presses now as you're used to doing them. So I'm going to step it up to, I need to try my 12s. I'm going to be, you know, crazy. Now I like one leg kicked back from my press to support my low back. Hands racked up here and press. So more shoulder. Now the triceps are back assisting us again. And then once again, everything down the kinetic chain from upper back to core, to glutes, to hips, to thighs, to calves, to even your feet are fired up. Whew. Last couple of reps. Come on, one more. Oh, yes, time. All right. Dropping down to my eights again. Reverse fly. It's a hip hinge, just like we did for the tricep kickbacks, but leaning forward a bit more if you're able to. Hands under the chest, fly up, hands together. So we're moving through the shoulder. My elbows are bent slightly, and then I don't move my elbow joint from there on. Hi, Bella. Bye, Bella. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. You probably hear her nails hit the laminate floor, but... She flies just under the camera when she gets off of her perch over there. So here we go, crew. This is our last exercise of the series. Guess what? That is right. We're taking it from the top again with the bicep curl. One more here. And release. Okay, so bicep curl. I am stepping it down. I don't care about my ego. <laughs> I've got my tens now. So palms facing me, root yourself and curl up. No swinging. Arms are close to the body on this one. It's not the wide bicep curl. That'll come next. Your wrist is going to curl in slightly as you curl up. One more. Whew. Shake it out. Okay, so this is the wide curl now. So the arms are out by your side. Whew. You're going to turn your palms away. Okay. And maybe even rotate them a little further away from you. And curl up. This one's tough. So me personally, I'm getting between 12 to 15 reps with each exercise. Time. And I can easily say to you that I could not do another two reps. So I've got my right weight. How are you doing? All right. Iso hold curl. So mirror me. Take this one halfway up. And now hammer curl the other one. So one arm is static. 
feeling that bicep, holding it mid-range in our rep, while our hammer curl moves through. Nice, slow, steady rhythm, not swinging. Great job. I feel like my biceps are just bulging right now. <laughs> You should do this exercise right before a photo shoot. <laughs> Pump up the muscles. <sighs> Time. Woo. I've been in one fitness competition in my life, and yeah, you have tubing and light dumbbells and backstage, and you do all, you know, push-ups, whatever you do to pump up the muscle before you walk on stage. Here we go. Ready, set, and go. Dreaming about carbs every second that you're doing it because you're basically carb free for three months of your life. The most miserable three months of my life, might I add. I don't recommend fitness competitions. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so we're on the ground for that series with the triceps coming up in about 10 seconds. One more rep here. Really, it's nicely done. All right, let's hit the ground, hit the mat. So our first guy, remember that one? The dumbbells were touching and they're resting just on the chest, okay? So there's our start position, feet close to the bum. Don't worry about the lower body after that. From here, just straighten up and lower down. So we have only two rounds of these, okay? So we are almost done. I absolutely promise you, I've got nothing up my sleeve. Once we're done this series, we're done the workout. Sometimes I do like to sneak in little stuff, but this time we're not sneaking anything in. We'll give the arms a bit of a stretch and then you can continue on with your day. Time. All right, so this was the skull crushers. And remember, if you decided that you wanted to do one dumbbell, okay, you're holding on to each end and the post is coming down towards the forehead and then you straightened. Otherwise, everybody else, dumbbell in each hand, wrist, shoulder, elbow in line, and then keep those elbows and shoulders in line. So we're only hinging through that elbow joint to get the dumbbells down beside the head. If you're able to, ideally, I'd like you to touch the ground with your dumbbells. Time. Nicely done. All right, tricep kickbacks. So this is our hip hinge pattern. So nothing in the low back, okay? So what that means is we're not rounding here where we'll end up hurting the low back. We soften the knees, hinge from the hips, and kick back. Same as that skull crusher, we're not going to move through the shoulders. It's just simply the elbow hinging forward and back. Once you've seen me, again, just look slightly ahead of yourself. Get that neck in line with the spine. We're moving on to shoulders after this. One more kickback. Time. Whew. All right, our first one, Y presses. So I'm gonna stay with my tens. We're pressing out wide, look like the letter Y. <sighs> Why? I don't know, why not? Here we go, ready? Rock them and press. Palms will stay facing the midline of your body. Knees are soft, remember all that other positioning for the rest of the body so that you're rooted. You have a really strong base before you start moving the arms. And
And then if this bothers your shoulders, right, just position your arms or your hands closer. Do what you got to do to make sure there's no pain in the joint. Ooh. One more. Time. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to drop it down to the eights. These are now our L raises. Remember those guys? One hand in front, other arm down by your side. Go. Once again, remember only the shoulder height. Anything higher is not going to train your shoulders any better and in fact could set you up for a shoulder injury, in particular bicep tendonitis. So we'll just keep it here. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh. Don't swing. When I used to teach classes, I do this exercise a lot and we would, I would see people really getting into it. <laughs> Don't get into it, okay? Root yourself. This isn't a dance move. This is a shoulder raise. Time. Whew. Shoulder presses. I am going to my tens. I can do it. Here we go. I like the kickstand leg. You find what's going to work for you in your low back. You'll rock the dumbbells, palms facing away, and press. Now remember, you can also alternate arms. That makes, that's one way to modify it. And you can hold on to one dumbbell with each hand, right? All I want you to do is just stick with me. Stick with me. I promise you, you will see success, okay? We don't have to work out for hours on time nor starve ourselves of carbs for the rest of our lives to see the goals we want to reach. Time. Woo. All right, reverse flies. This is our last exercise. But you just have to promise me to be consistent, okay? Yes? Good. Here we go. There's no quick fixes. Uh-uh, not after 40. <laughs> go. So now we're focusing on the rear delt as well as your mid trap. So sort of all your posture muscles with this movement. Now the hip hinge is here, but I've asked you, and I asked you this last round, see if you can go a little further forward than you did for the tricep kickbacks. We need gravity to be coming down fully on the upper back and shoulders to really get that isolation in the rear delt and mid trap. Last few reps here. One more. Time. Good job, you. Woo. All right. Shake out the arms. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're only going to do a few stretches because I wanted to keep this uh, as close to 30 minutes as I could for you. So grab some water. All right. So if you're drinking water, you know, just put it off to the side real quick. Shake out the arms a bit. Let's bring the arm across, thumb up. Oh, lovely stretch into the rear delt. And now bend the elbow and press in a bit more. You feel that a bit more? I know, isn't that cool? So thank you so much for joining me. Now, if you didn't know, I launched an app. I did. Um, June of last year, or this year, gosh, time goes by fast, but it doesn't really. Anyways, I launched an app called Over 50 Fitness, and we do have a free 14-day trial. So if you're not on it, head to the description after these stretches and check it out. Other side, start with a straight arm, feel the stretch, and now bent elbow and press in. And if you want to stay with YouTube, if the commercials don't bother you and you just sort of want to stay in YouTube, we would love to see your support to help keep this YouTube channel going, and that's through the Patreon community. The info's down there. And a big mwah to those guys, too, because if it wasn't for them, I would not be here. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, arm goes down. Now, if you have anything to pop your hand up, so I'm just going to put it on the ledge of my um, mantle here. You want the thumb pointed down, though. And then walk yourself around until you feel that stretch in your bicep. You could also hold on to a door frame if that's what's near you. Have it on a couch. But if ideally you can get that arm level with your shoulder, that'll be the best stretch. But thumb pointed down. Good. Other side. A 
I have to admit, my arms are done. <laughs> you can drop a comment down below and let me know how your arms feel right now. <laughs> Maybe some of you got to type with your nose. <laughs> There's a lot of spelling mistakes. I know that's what happened. Here we go, arm behind. Give me a little lean, stretching into the triceps. And then by leaning, we also get a little into the lat as well. Release, other side. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I look forward to reading your comments down below, and I will see you next workout. Bye.